Hello, this is Tazlon, and I'm in Sand River Assault Offense version of the 9.8 map for After Actions Report Volume 16. We're going to take a look at most of this map. You can see where they're pinning on the map, pinging on the map behind us. We aren't looking at that, but they've added a channel right here and elevated this terrain so it's, you can't get up on top of it. So here's the way into the middle, North Road. And um, as I said, we aren't going to take a look at that play. We'll do that in another map. But we're going to see a lot of the changes they made in the middle and how it affects what you can do on this map now. Before the change, this was like the best scout map in the game. Now, it's okay, but it's nothing like it was. So, let's get started. I'll show you what's up. pretty good mix of tanks. They have one Artie and, and two scouts, and we have two Artie and three scouts. And I'll still make my normal half-court spotting run, but you'll see that you're a lot more exposed as you do so because this hill's been softened a little bit. A couple bushes removed, so you don't quite have the ability to stay hidden that you did before. And as we go by, you notice a ramp over on the other side. There's a second ramp right here there's a ramp that comes up on both sides so it's easy for the enemy to pop across the middle one and peekaboo peek a view get spots on you the only tank class these changes help are heavies like almost every other map change this this update it's designed to give heavies easier play and everybody else more difficult play. So you can still pull up here, but you have to be more careful when you do. I'll, you'll see in a second. Too many targets to snipe at before I pull up. Ah, uh, hit the ground right at his tracks. That yeah, RU-251 is just far enough away, he's not going to proxy spot me. Oh man, twice in a row. I'm aiming at the right spot, the shell's just falling at the moment. And this may seem a lot the same, and you're going, what's the big deal? But you'll see here in a while what the big deal is. There's going to be a lot more tanks down in the gully there in front of you, and that is going to severely impact how long you can stay up here and do this. I don't know who I hit. There was somebody over there beyond him that I managed. I accidentally hit when I missed him. Those dunes were lowered just enough that you can be seen from way more angles than you could before. That's huge because if you were seen over here you used to be able to move over to the left and there was some rocks and the dunes were just high enough that you could eliminate line of sight from half the field and, and it's not like that anymore. Yeah. 
if you have a non-aggressive enemy like this one is you can rack up some damage but a lot of times the enemy wants to play the middle more and it just forces you to go back to the dune behind you if you want to survive I'm going to try this cup you want. Hit it. Okay, now look to the left of me. I'm seeing it. He came right up the middle there. So now I have to dance around this rock. Normally what they'll do is peek a view from right there and it forces you to back off the ridge. So they come up the hill right here. Right there there and spot you and they come up just high enough to see you and duck back down so your choices are either go over that ridge after them and if you do all those tanks sitting back there are able to take shots at you until you get to the bottom or you fall back to this ridge back here to where anybody back here is too far away to have the draw distance too great for them to see you and there's been a lot of games so far where that's what I've had to do. If you have somebody or sometimes two or three people peak a viewing along there, you drop back to here and just play whack-a-mole with them until you kill them. And then you can move forward again. Or you go down in the ditch after them. If there's two or three of them down there, that's not a winning proposition. You just have to back up. The good news is if everybody's smart about it and backs up, they end up exposing themselves to shots from two to four tanks every time they pop up, and hopefully one of you picks them off. But if people try to stay forward and keep spotting, you end up dying because now the odds are in their favor they see you and they have five or six guns pointed at you and it just doesn't work out. And the other thing to keep in mind is when you're up on that ridge if their team ends up splitting east and west and there's nobody left in the middle you can go down the middle and pop up in the middle of town with the cover of buildings right there. So it's very, and I'll show you this in a little bit, you have another invasion option later in the game. Or in the middle, if the teams, if you know they're split apart. I'm going to come in behind this guy and take him out. And you'll see it right now because I'm going to end up going down into the town. And I go into the ditch. You'll get a look at it. Really big change play-wise. You would think we'd win this game, but we don't. We run out of time. I know there's a 704 beyond those two heavies, so I can't just use the dune and go in on him. There he is. You can see him back there. The wild card right now is the 152. Don't know where he is. And here's another little note, if you look at the XVM on the top, it no longer counts how many tanks you've killed, it counts how many tanks you have left. 
So it's saying six to three. It's like we have six tanks left. They have three. So that's reversed. And now you can look. There's a there's the ramp there and the ramp right back there. And look at this ramp right here. It's perfect. You can just cut across there and then you can also see over here easy access out of the middle over here. So you have way more options down in the middle. It's just when you have enemies set up on the east and west there your easy pickings when you're down in here earlier in the fight. Depending on where they're set up at. It's before you go down you have to be aware of what's at the ends of the ditch. And that kills me because I, I didn't do any damage and I went about because of it. I aimed right in the middle thinking the shot's going to go a little crooked and it's that one time where it hits exactly where you aim which is right on its mantlet which is exactly where I didn't want it to hit so it messes with you like that sometimes. And now we have two big slow TDs and two already trying to chase down a TD that we have actually no idea where it is. And they're going together. So very limited line of sight right now. Instead of splitting up they go the same way. I'm sure this guy's up in here, down in here, don't know. But we run out of time. We totally kick their butts this game but we lose. And somebody's saying draw. It's like no no draw in this match. And there it is. So despite earning with courageous resistance 2,727 XP, getting 11 spots, getting 4,700 spotting damage with 4 kills and 2,077 damage and a patrol duty medal, we managed to lose. But it's a decent look at the changes in the middle of the map. It does severely impact gameplay. Like I said, where's my cursor? You have ramps right here down into town. This nice ramp coming up. Easy access out here and here. And it's a little bit easier to get out over here as well. And that really changes gameplay because you'll have a lot of t games where there's like a per enemy here, enemy over here, peak of viewing, sometimes a guy down here, peak of viewing, and it forces you back from this position to fall back into this area. And then you have to just wait for him to pop up and try to shoot him. And if you try to stay up on that middle ridge while those guys are doing that, you're probably going to die because it allows everybody over here that you're normally spotting and sniping, all of a sudden they get shots at you because the people popping up pop up enough to keep you constantly lit up and you just can't survive pulling up to the middle to take looks so your only option is to drop back or die so far it hasn't been that fatal in terms of winning you drop back you take care of them and if everybody drops back here when they pop up they have a whole bunch of guns pointed at them and somebody hits them sooner or later and then you can go back to what you're doing and they're down a tank. But it makes it more iffy at the end because you run out of time sometimes. But so far, what I've seen it do mostly is, is lower your spotting damage and regular damage because you can't play it quite like you used to. But just be aware when you're up here, they can sneak in from this end and come up and you have no idea they're coming. So be ready to back off really fast if you take a shot and nobody had you lit up just back up right away because somebody snuck up the ridge like the 416 did and if you stay up there wondering what's happening you're gonna die from sand river assault offense taking a look at the new changes in 9.8 sand river happy hunting